welcome back to Retro Car Dogs. As you can see today, I'm dressed, ready to work. Okay, something you're not going to see me in often, but it's really cool. So what we've managed to do is acquire a rare beast, which is really something we've been looking forward to. And we're going to walk you through the car and we're going to really just go through it. And we would appreciate your comments and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, do all those wonderful things. But this is something we've been wanting to do for decades. And we finally got our hands on uh, this rare beast. And I'm going to show you what it is right now let's swing across left and you know what it is now this is 1971 e3 bmw 2800 basically we salvaged it well not salvaged it we managed to acquire it from a chap who wanted to spin it and we didn't want it to be spun so it needs some work and as you can see just walk around the exterior let's start at the front and go through it you can see look at the state of it it's been stood in a yard for a long time uh, under trees and all the rest of it and you can see it's really 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 rank at this stage uh, but as you can see totally complete not much missing from the car walk through it it's probably had a spray at some stage in its life uh, but not a good spray job uh, it needs to be cleaned up um, we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk you through so what we're gonna do is show you the car We're gonna do a whole video on it. We're gonna wash clean inside outside We're gonna start it for you all the rest of it, but we've got a surprise under the bonnet so You have to stick around. There's a surprise that you're not gonna expect under the bonnet But having a look the badges are faded things like that. We're gonna have to do um, If you just walk around here and see the general condition and look at the top of the roof here, you can see for instance uh, down the side what I love about it is all the body lines are straight. It's never been in a prang uh, We had a look underneath. She's really nice, but as you can see she needs some attention Really sort of been sort of left to stand outside and if you come here Let me pop open and you come around. I don't know if you show let's have a look at the boot Tail lights are a little as you can see you probably you probably won't pick on the camera They're a little cracked and things like that, but they're not bust or anything like that uh, you, things like this, the boot latch is buggered, the uh, front door locks are not right, things like that. There's a whole list, wish list of stuff we'll have to do to her. But there you can see 2800 and you can sort of see where she's in and what kind of state she is. Let's just pop the boot open, you can have a look. The boot doesn't actually close properly, we've got to sort that out. Um, but yeah, this has been screwed in and none of the tools are in there. Uh, but you can see from looking inside here, She's never been in a prang. Uh, it's basically very clean, solid body, solid uh, project to start. Um, all these plastics are intact, which is really nice because you don't often find them that they're all intact. Uh, this will probably have to be repaired, get a little thing for there, um, try and get a toolkit for it. I don't know if this is original. We'll have to probably just research. Uh, a lot of the rubbers you can see are perished. We'll have to try and uh, source new rubbers, boot rubbers, and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, if you, badges are obviously worn, worn out. Uh, if you come around this side, you can see these things, when they sprayed at these fins, I just sprayed them white too, as well, which we'll change and put them original. The chrome trim, as you go around, there's little scraps and things like that. Um, and you can see that it's running, I set one different wheel there to the rest of the wheels, so it's a little weird. It's got a broken shock mount on the left-hand side that we know of. Engine doesn't leak any oil. Uh, the clutch would probably need replacing that we know of already. The exhaust is fairly new on it. Um, so there's the mechanicals that have to be done on it in terms of going through bushes, rubbers, things like that back and front. And this is why I'm dressed like this. We're gonna, we got this car late last night. Today we're gonna spend the day cleaning it and looking after it. So let's pop open and have a look inside here. This is what's cool. You can see it's basically original. Well, go on, jump in. A little tear in the seats here. Uh, accelerator pedal is missing we have to do something there you can see that's gone so it, it's a bit awkward with my small feet to drive up there um, but as you can see dash has got a little crack over here a little crack there and a little crack there but generally apart from that you'll see the little crack over there maybe and a little crack apart from that very very nice is a very very dirty needs a good cleanup everything is here there's actually a hand owner's manual in it as well. Um, let's pull that out of there. Yeah, passenger. Uh, there we are, 2800. Okay, off you go there. Just have a look here, people. 
just a quick flip through of all the important details yeah how nice is that so cameraman jordan here giving you commentary as well which i really is nice yeah so that came with the car which is really nice um you can see the obviously there it needs a bit of tlc and here it needs a tlc um we got it obviously it's been it's had four owners uh the gear knob is not the right gear knob it is a four speed um so it's 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 correct there um, the interior, as you can see, the upholstery is basically in very nice conditions. It's very dirty. You can see the door cards, basically all the originals. Um, oh, look the, at the Coke bottles. Yeah, look at the carpets. And this is how we got it. There is a computer of some sort. There's Coke bottles lying in it. You can see it's a little dirty and that's the thing. But it's got the buttons and it's the ashtray sort of works. And there's buttons there missing. And I think the stalks might be wrong because if I look at the stalks, uh, I've got uh, two window washer stalks here uh, and if you look up here the roof lining is still all original uh, there's a little tear here which we'll have to maybe address um, yeah and i just like it cubby hole yeah, there's, uh, yeah, there we are. i'm sitting on the other side it's got an aftermarket computer or something in it but yeah it's uh we'll have to get underneath and see why would they do that um we'll have a look at that now so from a perspective of it's a complete car odd things here and there missing but really really nice um with cameraman jordan sitting i'm gonna take the camera from him he's sitting there and i'll show you pass me the camera dude uh i'm gonna flip it around slowly let's see uh say hello everybody hello so he's in his work clothes as well as you can see there's the back it's all original the, the back seats in that yeah, actually is very good condition dirty, the windows are. yeah you can see it huh? um does that center thing pop down there dude yeah let's just see if that still works oh okay that still works and as you see it's not torn it's in good nick so that's pretty decent um you can see the little uh what do you call those things that you hold your hands on there so just call them the handlebars. handlebars whatever and then if you uh have a look i'm trying to negotiate there's some holes speaker holes or something cut in there which is not nice because it's the original board but anyway and behind jordan there is the access to the shock i suppose they maybe cut it for that reason and that's the shock that is bust so it actually bounces all around um, but you can see the upholstery in the roof is all clean and original the car needs a good going through a new clean well we'll be doing that shortly yeah we're going to be doing that now so we're going to be doing a whole video of this and we hope you're going to enjoy it so yeah there's there's all little nicks and knacks and there's a crack in the windscreen over there all the way which we didn't see uh, so we're going to have to source a windscreen and when you get outside you see we're going to need a new windscreen rubber but a great complete car well, which you know what we need to do yeah uh, what do we need to do we need to show them the engine oh okay yeah uh, oh you want to open it yeah oh okay so which is really cool as well is how you open the bonnet <sighs> yeah proper open gently there see that uh, black lever can you see it yeah, I just see it there, yeah. There where my middle finger yeah, is. Yeah. Pop that down. Boom. And that's it. And there we go. Okay, let me pass the camera to you. You walk under there. I'm going to open the bonnet. And... So... Okay, so this is the surprise. And I want you guys to tell me your thoughts, please. Purists might not like it. BMW guys might love it. But have a guess what's under this bonnet. It's going to surprise you. Did you unlock it? Oh, lift your side. Oh, it's not unlocked properly. Is it not? Yeah. I've got it, got it, got it, got it. Here we go. It's a 3.5. So it's from the E28. It's a 35 or a M30B35i, which they shoehorned into the car. Apparently the old 2800 had packed up seized and they didn't want to fix it, they threw it away. And because of the culture of the spinning guys, they want much more power. So they threw in the 3.5 liter, which um, has got about, now I speak under correction, about 150 to 160 kilowatts, about 215, 220 horsepower. So the original 2.8 only had about 124 kilowatts, about uh, 180, 170 horsepower, something like that. Um, it runs and starts and drives. We drove it home, so we'll start it a little later for you, as you can see. But it's got new radiator, so they've done it really, really well. They just didn't do it 
in terms of a prettiness because it was for spinning. So it's got, uh, you want to come on around this side and show it's got headers or branches on it. But you know what I like? I haven't seen a BM that opens with the bonnet like that before. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. So you see it's like suicide doors. Yeah. So there, there's the headers on it, oh, or branches or whatever. Shadow. Shadow. Let me move my shadow out the way. Okay. So it runs and misses a little bit. So we're going to probably just look at a little bit of TLC, just check plugs, points. Um, but you can see they did a fair amount of good work on it. Um, so, you, guys, we want you to join us. We want you to give us your thoughts. Some of you might hate the 3.5 in it. Some of you, the purists might say it's terrible. Find a 2.8. This is basically, besides the engine and numbers matching chassis, engine numbers matching car. Um, so we're going to be obviously, over the next period of six months, a year, whatever, we're going to be redoing this car. We're going to get it just first running and driving nicely. Uh, we're going to clean it up today. We want you to enjoy that. But let us know your thoughts. Please send us comments. And the other thing as well, because we haven't had an E3, to source parts and things like that. If you guys have got any recommendations and tell us who we can contact, email, message to find parts and things like that for this car from a cosmetic point of view, from a suspension point of view, um, who can we contact? That would really help us a hang of a lot. Um, but we're just really excited to have it. So if you look at it, it's basically awesome. We're really excited, guys. Stick around, watch us. We're going to run through washing it inside, outside. It's going to be great, but don't forget you've got to subscribe, share and like, and we thank you for your continued support.